where you're inbounding the ball, but from the angle you're inbounding it, Kobe's guarding you. What actually happened on that play? You know, like now that I have a chance to ask you, it's been something that's been a staple in like every top 10 <laughs> ESPN sports center. But what right. happened from that angle? Were you actually throwing out his face or was it just the there was like, Nah, I wanted to fight. I wanted to fight. Really? Eh? <laughs> um, he, you, know, you know, Kobe was a guy obviously who was tremendous talent, but he's also kind of he tried to mentally uh, dominate as well. So he would do little dirty shit like elbow you, grab mm-hmm. you. That particular game, he'd elbow me probably three or four times, arrest didn't call nothing. So I was to the point where like, fuck basketball, <laughs> we're gonna fight. You know, and and on that at that particular play, um, it wasn't planned. Literally, when like when I tell this story, literally my arms did it all by themselves. Like it wasn't like, hey, I'm gonna fake the ball in his face. I literally just did it because I really wanted to just throw the ball at him. Like I wanted to fight. That's where my mind was. So I faked the ball, uh, not realizing how close it came to him. Obviously, until it's all over every broadcast after that, and literally was you know eyelashes away from smashing him in the face. And you know <laughs> the fact that he didn't flinch, uh, you know, just goes to show what kind of dog and competitor he was. Yeah just the ball to get that close to your face and it's like it's like it's like psychotic right like how do you not react yeah. to that i mean we you know we we flinch at pillows being thrown at us or someone acting like they're gonna hit us and there was a full-fledged ball coming from me because he knows i would have hit him and the fact that he didn't flinch that's just how in tune he was and it was uh again he was just different special 